after being crucified, Jesus comes back to life and hangs out with the apostles. He tells them they will receive the Holy Spirit and be his witnesses. Jesus takes off. The disciples were gathered together on Pentecost when the Holy Spirit arrives. Tongues of fire hover over them. The disciples speak in tongues. Peter preaches the first sermon. 3,000 people get saved. God won, Satan zero. Peter heals the lame man and preaches another sermon. Another 2,000 people get saved. Peter and John are thrown in jail. They're released. Peter and John celebrate with the other believers and pray for continued boldness. God rocks the house, literally. Ananias and Sapphira lie about their offering to the church and are struck dead. The apostles preach again. They are thrown in jail again. An angel releases them and they preach some more. The apostles nominate seven deacons to look after widows and orphans, including Stephen, a man full of faith in the Holy Spirit. Stephen is stoned. Present at the stoning is a young man named Saul. We'll come back to that later. Persecution breaks out. Believers scatter. Things look bad for the church. Or do they? Wherever the believers go, they preach the word of God, thus fulfilling the Great Commission. God, two, Satan, still, zero. Meanwhile, Saul is on his way to persecute believers in Damascus when Jesus appears. Saul is blinded. Saul is healed. Saul repents and begins preaching to the same people he intended to persecute. God, three, Satan, well, you get the idea. Peter has a vision of unclean animals. Peter has an encounter with unclean Gentiles. He gets it. God has extended salvation to the Gentiles. Major game changer. Barnabas and Paul start working together, traveling and preaching the word. By the way, I'm going to call Saul Paul now. I don't have time to explain why. Still with me? Paul and Barnabas. Paul and Barnabas part ways. Paul and Silas team up. Timothy joins Paul and Silas. The party leaves for Macedonia. Spoiler alert, they are thrown in prison yet again. They sing. An earthquake loosens their shackles, but they stick around to lead the jailer to Christ. Yada, 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 more preaching. Paul returns to Jerusalem. He's promptly arrested again. He is visited by the Lord, who assures him that Paul will testify about him in Rome. Paul feels better. Paul is transferred to Caesarea where his case is caught up in red tape for two years. Finally, Paul appeals to Caesar and is put on a fast ship to Rome. The ship wrecks. Paul is bitten by a snake. At last, Paul makes it to Rome. He is placed under house arrest and continues to preach the gospel while awaiting trial. Somewhere in there, he finds the time to write a few letters. Today, they comprise much of the New Testament. The End